this time of year we get a lot of questions about should I do tillage in my no-till? I'm disappointed maybe with this year's yield, especially where we got dry. Well, the question would be, are you in a vertical format? And if you are, probably really no need to do the tillage. But one of the things that we see in no-till a lot of times is the sins of past springs are still there. And if the tillage layer is still there, it's going to give you trouble in no-till. This particular plot, this no-till strip is about eight bushel behind our true vertical tillage. And we need to look below ground to see if there's a layer there. We actually know there's a layer there, but I'm going to show you that based on past sins. One of the things I'd like to do when you're out here trying to evaluate the soil is feel for those layers. And you step that spade in the ground and this no-till block, I can feel the layer. There's a layer there. shouldn't be there, but I can feel it. That's kind of another indicator to help you figure out. Let's look down here. So when we pop this rip ball out, right away it's evident, right? Here's the horizontal layer put in two springs ago. It's still here. Not only can we see it by the soil breaking off, we can see how these major roots turn on that layer not going down. That's what's getting our no-till behind our true vertical till. We do have some roots that are making it down through, especially the bio channels, night crawler holes, things like that from the cover crops, but it's still quite not enough. We have some leftover cover crop out here, in this case a radish, and you can see the tillage zone has affected the growth of this radish. It's not a true carrot type radish. So this has got to come out, square up the no-till, or you could strip through it, but you're going to have to get through this layer if you're going to strip through this.